Hey friends, I just wanted to uh, share a little something from my heart with you. I made a kind of a sobering post just a couple days ago and uh, uh, many of you have reached out and you were concerned about me and uh, thank you for, first of all, for just sharing from your hearts and for your prayers. Um, it means a lot to have a community of friends that you know have your back and uh, don't judge you. And you know, so I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of insight in just uh, understanding that I have been on kind of a nonstop pace for so long. And as many of you know, I've been a student for the last uh, year and a half. I've been working on my master's of ministry. And uh, so with everything that I'm juggling and some of the travel and dual residence, it sometimes can, uh, can put me in a, a place where I just feel tired. And I think that I've been really just spent physically and mentally and reached a point of such exhaustion that it really has become almost this sacred space for me where God is saying, I want you to slow down and I want you to just really take advantage of this space to hear my voice and to feel my presence that I am right here with you in the midst of everything that you are processing. You know, sometimes we can go so fast and be on such an, a forward pace that we're not paying attention to um, some of the inner work that God is doing and that, he, that he's actually putting his finger on. And for me, you know, I, I wrote my book a few years ago, Fight Forward, Reclaim the Real You, because God has walked me on this journey for the last 30 years of healing my identity, finding my identity, not in the outward things that I do, but in him. And so what that requires is that in moments like these, where I feel incapable, where I feel exhausted, I invite him into that place where sometimes I don't even want to visit. I don't really want to pay attention because maybe it's painful. And I think we're all that way. We really are in a culture that is uh, prone to want to run from our pain and uh, we want to skim over it and maybe just try to fix it, um, you know, some it, with some formulas that we've learned and sometimes formulas just don't work in those spaces and they're really a place that God is calling us. Um, he's calling us inward and he's calling us to uh, a place that's very honest. I've often talked about uh, the scripture in 2 Corinthians, uh, I believe it's 3.18, that talks about how that the mirror of his glory is where we encounter him. We encounter the truth of not just him, but about ourselves. And it's in that space that we are transformed from glory to glory. And so, you know, we go through these spaces where it can be confusing and we get worn out. But I think that those are good places because we actually come to the end of ourselves. And isn't the Christian life one of learning how to die to self over and over again? And, uh, you know, I'm just so thankful that at this point in my life, I have the assurance of knowing and the hope of knowing that Jesus is right here with me. I'm not being uh, criticized. I'm not being judged for my weakness or my human incapabilities, but rather I can shift and focus my eyes on him. And it is, it is that picture of who he is that gets me not just through it, but that equips me in the process and I come free from things. And that is what life is all about. And that is, at least that is what the Christian life is all about. It's about transformation. It's about growing. It's about changing. And it's not up to me to grow myself. God is the one doing the growing in us all. And so I just wanted to take this moment to share with you that I'm okay and um, I'm grateful for a, a quieter space. Um, I still have the demands. I still have the deadlines, but I'm kind of pulling back a little bit and, and just um, marinating in uh, whatever this space is with the Lord and just saying, God, reveal yourself to me here. 
show me who you are in this place and in, in this pain and this experience that I might come out of it with a new awareness of you, with a new fresh perspective that is going to equip me for tomorrow. And uh, there was a moment when I had, uh, I was just really crying out to the Lord in prayer. And I was just saying, you know, God, I was feeling some of the anxieties and the uh, the pain of some of the broken relationship with my own father and how I adored my father my whole life, but things that were broken and emotionally um, unavailable to me. And so it, it kind of broke a little bit of, you know, that was the lens that I saw God, my father, through for so many years. And I said, God, you know, Jesus, I want to feel you right now. Would you just reveal yourself to me in a more tangible way? Because I was hurting so badly just a couple of days ago. And, and you know, I it was like the Spirit said to me that uh, it was like that moment for, for John uh, or, or for Thomas in the book of John where Jesus has just been resurrected and he's revealed himself to the disciples and and it was Thomas that said, but let me feel your wounds. I, I, you know, he just couldn't believe that it was really him. And, uh, you know, it, it was like the Spirit said to me, blessed are those who have not seen and still believe. And I think that the, the correlation that I see here is how that I've got to see in, in terms of not through my wounds, but through his wounds. And to know that Jesus took the cross for me and he took my shame and my burdens and my sin and my brokenness upon himself and his image was marred so that mine could be healed. That's mind blowing. And I, I really think that to really absorb that, to really understand it, we've got to be able to process these these honest moments with him and just sit with him in this space and let him speak to us and let him show us and reveal to us what uh, the perspective is through his wounds, when his wounds become the thing that heals our wounds, then uh, we are transformed. And I hope that that encourages you today. I hope that, um, you know, as I share, even from my own vulnerabilities and my own process on this journey, that um, we can continue to be encouraged, that you will be encouraged. So many of you uh, often will even privately message me and send me emails. And I want you to know that I pray for you and I... Um, my heart is driven to want to be um, a voice in, the, in your wilderness to be able to say, I know that Jesus is real and I know who he is in the place of my own shame, in the place of my own pain. And that is the human journey. And um, he loves you and I love you. And uh, just wanted to share that with you today. And I'm planning on doing a little more of this um, as we continue on this year, I feel like uh, some of you really need to hear from my heart and I want to share with you a lot of the things that I'm learning. So have a wonderful day. Be blessed. And I hope that wherever you are, that you are trusting him in the places that are very difficult for you to navigate because he is faithful and he's with you and he's got you. Be blessed. Bye bye.